Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Let's talk about uh, Natasha Jonas versus um, Michaela Mayer. Uh, inevitably, the word robbery is being flung around. Um, and the most overused, abused word in the whole of boxing. <sighs> okay. Right, let me start by saying, when I watched this fight live, if you've watched my uh, review, you'll know that I had it 96-94 for Michaela Mayer. I thought she won the fight. A close fight, a tough fight, in which both ladies were landing. Both ladies were quite busy. Um, probably more so, probably the busier of the two was Natasha, but... Michaela was landing some some very hurtful punches, especially towards the end of the fight. That tenth round was kind of torrid for Natasha. But I had it 96-94, Natasha. I then watched it this morning, and I had it, guess what? I had it 95-95, a draw, okay? Now, look, I have absolutely no problem with anyone saying they think Michaela Mayer won this fight. No problem at all. Like I say, I watched it live. I thought she won it as well. But when I hear this word robbery being slung around by people who haven't got a bloody clue what they're talking about, you know, who say that, you know, Michaela won eight of the 10 rounds. I mean, you want to talk about a robbery, that would be a robbery. You know, it's like I've been watching boxing for getting on for five decades. All right. I know what I'm looking at. I may get it wrong sometimes. Of course I do. We all get things wrong. Nor am I saying that someone who has a different opinion to me, you know, a proportionally different, different opinion, is, is wrong. No, 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 no. Subjectivity does exist. The way I score a fight, if it's a men's fight and they're three-minute rounds, it's three little individual uh, fights, if you like, three minutes. Person A wins one, person B wins rep the second minute. Who wins the third minute wins the round. I also, when I'm scoring a fight... There's, there has to be consistency of what you're watching. So you can't say, oh, in round number one, I like the weight of the punch. So I'm going to, even though so-and-so landed more punches, I like the weight of the punch. And then suddenly in round two, you've switched to thinking. So it's, well, yeah, so-and-so landed the heavier punches, but the other person was busy, so I'm going to go with that. You've got to be consistent, okay, when you're scoring a fight. Now, in this fight, to me, a lot of the rounds were extremely difficult to score. They could have gone either way. Um, again, if someone has it for Michaela, I mean, even 97, 93, yeah, all right, I could maybe live with that. Yeah. But 96, 94 to Michaela, like I had it, no problem. If someone has it for Natasha by a point or two, no problem. But if you want a robbery, a flat-out robbery, where it is so glaringly obvious that one person won and they didn't, go watch Cattrall versus Taylor which is one of the worst decisions I've ever seen in, like I say, nearly 50 years of watching boxing. I've never seen a decision like that. Um, Gabriel Mestra against Mikel Fox. Go and have a look at that. You want to see a robbery, go and have a look at Gabriel Mestra versus Mikel Fox. It's on YouTube. Either the fix was in, and to be honest, and I'm no conspiracy theorist, I hate the conspiracy theorist mentality where everything that's slightly different is immediately some sort of great conspiracy and people think they're being clever by constantly talking about, you know, all sorts of skullduggery going on when they don't have a, a scrap of evidence. That, having said all that, <laughs> that looks to me like a, a flat-out bit of corruption. But go and have a look at it. Mestra versus Fox. Another example would be, if you want to go further down the food chain, what about when Campbell Hatton was gifted a decision in, early on in his career against um, Sonny Martinez. Didn't win a round, Sonny Martinez. The sole arbiter was the referee. He should never work. He should never score a fight again. Um, but you know, anyway, anyway, you can think of other examples, but they're rare. Genuine flat-out robberies are rare. And it's not... It, you diminish the, the, the word when you talk about, you know, everything that's sort of... That, could go either way, you know, or even if someone, even if you think, well, I definitely thought so and so won, but like, for example, let's, let's say Michaela Mayer against Baumgardner. I thought Mayer won that fight as well. I definitely thought she won that fight. I've watched that more than once and I always make her the winner. I thought that was kind of wider than, than the Jonas fight, to be honest with you. But is it a robbery? <sighs> It, I think it's a bad decision, but I don't think it's a robbery. I don't think the fix was in. I don't think 
I don't think there was anything going on underhand. I think maybe the judges saw something I didn't, or maybe they they got it wrong, or you know, maybe I'm wrong. You've got to always, you know, you've always got to keep it back that you yourself might have been wrong. That's why I watched the fight twice, the, the Jonas fight. I watched it twice. So, to me, this was not a robbery. I thought Jonas started quickly. Um, I don't think all of her, certainly all of her punches weren't landing. Neither were Michaela's. I thought Michaela was off to a quite a slow start. Uh, Jonas was out working her in the early rounds. Um, the second time I watched it, I actually gave Michaela the last four rounds and I gave five of the first six to Jonas. You know, that's, but that's knowing the result and that maybe subconsciously can have an effect on you. But I definitely thought that it was a, a, a close fight and Again, what are you looking for? Are you being consistent with your with when you score around? You know, all these things come into play. Um, I don't hold that this was a robbery. I think robberies in boxing are robberies in boxing are rare. Bad decisions aren't. Someone actually in, in the comments said to me, This was a competitive fight, Jonas and Mayer was a competitive fight, but Mayer won most of the rounds. Now that's not an argument I could dismiss. Because okay, this guy he didn't go any further. But he's, that's, he is the only person who's explained to me why he thinks that there was a great you know, injustice here. Because at least he's hinting at something. It was a competitive, each round was competitive, but I gave most to Maya. Okay, I can, that, that makes some sense, some logic. But everybody else who's screaming robbery in my comment section is saying, ah, oh, she got robbed. No, 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 Michaela Mayer won it. They're not explaining what they think. They're not explaining how they score a fight. They're just whistling Dixie. They're just talking a lot of crap, you know. And now, if you want to explain, explain. Explain why you think this was such a, a great, you know, a miscarriage of justice. Explain it to me. Because I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I thought Mayer won when I scored it live, but I don't think it was a... Put it this way, when they were reading out the scores, I thought, I wonder which way it's gone. I think Mayer's got it, but I didn't know for certain. I don't know for certain. Okay. Anyway, a few uh, a few points that I've made. You may agree or disagree. Judging by the comments on the last video, you probably disagree. But leave your comments below. I ain't got a problem with anyone that disagrees with me as long as you're respectful. Comments below. Thanks for listening in. As always, thank you for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It takes a second. And... Pop that like button and all. Much appreciated. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.